Hi guys, it's Paula and I hope you were doing well. This is going to be the first update for Six by Santa. This is a Project Pan collab I am doing with friends, um, mostly on Instagram. There might be one or two here on YouTube. I'm going to have everybody linked down below that's doing this project so that you can see who else is in it and check them out. If you are doing this project and I forgot about you and you're not included, leave a comment down below and I will add you in. This project was created by my friend Elizabeth. She is at Kooky Pans over on Instagram. She's a good friend of mine. She is a mastermind when it comes to creating project pans. And so yeah, the whole point of this project is to focus on six products between August 1st and Christmas. So quick and easy. I can never say no to Elizabeth, so when she invited me to join, I of course agreed to. I have two empties for the first update, so that's a good start to this project. Let me show you what they are, and then we'll talk about the remaining four products in this project. This project is not going to be rolling, so the remaining four are all that's left in this project. First off, I finished the sample of Amber Blush Shower Gel. This is a Bath & Body Works product. I kind of inherited this. I was cleaning out a vacant property, long story, and this was in there and I thought, I'll take it home and use it. And it sat on my bathroom counter for two months. So I decided to put it in this project to finish it off. And there was only like this much left in the bottle, but it still took me like two weeks to finish this off. It lasted a long time. It was very concentrated, so it didn't take a lot to get the job done, but it's gone. It's off the bathroom counter and I can, recycle the packaging now, so I'm glad. My other empty is this Clinique Sheer Matteness T-Zone. This is a product that has been kicking around my house for years. I have a good friend who does a yearly declutter, and this came from her, and I really wasn't sure how to use this, and so it just sat around, and I never really looked into it, I never really played around with it, so finally I decided to try this out and see what it is, what it does. I ended up using it as like a primer after all my skincare was on, before I started makeup, and I love this product. Of course, now that I've fallen in love with it, it's not available anymore, at least not that I could tell. I looked through Clinique's website and didn't see anything called Sheer Madness T-Zone Shine Control. Maybe they've renamed it. They've definitely repackaged all of their products, so I can't even look for similar packaging. But as far as I know, this product no longer exists in their line. If you know of this product still existing somewhere, let me know in the comments because I really thought it was good. I don't need this kind of product year round, but during the summer months, I do get kind of greasy. I produce more oils in the summer, plus I live in a climate that gets very humid in the summer, so it's nice to have something like this during the summer months. So yes, if you know about this product still being around, let me know. Okay, let's talk about the remaining four products in this project. First of all, I put two nail polishes in this project. They kind of go together. The first one is this e.l.f. nail polish in this orangey shade. I don't know if you could see the line. I think you can. But I have some movement in the bottle. It was brand new, had never been used at the start of this project. So there's a little space. I think I did one pedicure and two manicures with this over the past month, which isn't great, but pretty good for me. The other polish that I put in this project is right here. This is the Milani polish in a similar orange color, but this is amazing. This is beautiful. There's something sparkly in there that makes my nails look extra beautiful. You can see my fill line right here. My goal is to completely finish this e.l.f. polish and just make a dent in this orange Milani polish. I think I can do it, but I have to step it up in the next couple months if that's my goal. But yes, I like these both very much. I'm not wearing them today. Obviously, they are on my toes, and I need to do another pedicure tomorrow. I don't know what I'm going to put on my toes. Maybe this... The next product that is in this project is my e.l.f. Concealer Quad in the shade Dark. This is the product I have been using for most of this year as a cream contour. I like it very much. I did not make really great progress over the last month, though, because I was working on this large sample from Urban Decay of All Nighter Foundation in um, shades that were way too deep for my skin tone, so I was using them 
as a cream contour and it took me almost three weeks to finish this little sample strip off. So I really only have a week's worth of progress on this. And the two pans that I've given the most attention to are the center two. I use this one on my forehead and this one kind of here and I blend it in and that's about it. I have no idea if the pans expanded at all. Hopefully I will have some much better progress on this next month. I don't plan to be distracted with anything else other than this. Different product, same excuse. My body spray from Bath & Body Works. This is in the scent White Ginger and Amber. I am just below my previous line. I'm not even going to make a new mark. I was really focusing on finishing a different perfume and samples, so I gave them all my attention. And I've only gotten back to this in the last couple of days, so this is only like three days worth of progress, which isn't good. So this will be my only perfume that I'm working on from here on out. Hopefully I will have some really good progress. I don't think I could finish this product by the finale. I never thought I could. So I'm just hoping to put a big dent in this between now and December 25th. Wish me luck. That is it for this update. Simple, sweet, quick. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.